Hey guys, I'm back with another new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to install XCI, NSB or NSZ files to your Nintendo Switch with using a wireless files transfer. We are going to transfer our backup cams to our Switch with only using a Wi-Fi mod and this will not require a USB cable and so there is no need for you to use a USB cable in order to uh, install your backup cams to your Switch in this video. So I, do, I also did do a tutorial video for how to install a backup with using our installer so the homebrew that we are going to use to the video is the our installer just like the same since that I usually use our installer for uh, installing my backup cams to my switch since that got leaf and a tin foil I don't usually use both of them there's a reason why I didn't use got leaf or the tin foil all right so before we proceed make sure you guys have a custom firmware installer on your switch so without the custom firmware this will not work and also uh, you might need to set up the 1910s or incognito mode if you've not yet been banned. So I highly recommend you guys to set up your 1910s or incognito mode to prevent from being banned easily since that this requires a Wi-Fi connection um, for your Nintendo Switch. So right here we have the Arwin installer and this is the GitHub for the Arwin installer where it stores uh, all of the latest update for the Arwin installer. You can check it on this GitHub. I will leave a link on the description box for you guys to uh, open up this GitHub. Now here we have the our installer version 1.3.4 which is actually this it was released for 11.0.1 but still we can use it on 13.1.0 firmware. To download the our installer just go ahead and click to the our installer.zip inside the asset tab right here. Just go ahead and click it and it will just start to download on your PC directly once you guys have clicked to the our installer.zip. Now the second thing that we need to grab is the NSUSB loader. So this is the remote control uh, which will handle uh, from receiving and sending the uh, backup cams from our PC to our Switch. So this is really important and both of these files really needed in this video. You can't just uh, get the our installer without using the NSUS builder. You can't transfer your backup cams to your uh, Nintendo Switch. Before you proceed, you need to download and install Java JRE first. So just go ahead and uh, click to the download and install java jre here it will open another tab and it brings you to the java official website okay so this is how it looks like for the java now just go ahead and click to agree and start free download and it will start to download the java jre onto your pc all right once you have installed the java and then you need to uh, grab the nsusb loader next so now I will also put these links on description box so make sure you guys check the links on description box uh, to get this all of these links okay so here is the uh, NSUS builder we have the uh, NSUS builder 5.2 legacy and 5.2 I think this one is the normal build so what you guys need to grab is I think we can go with the legacy here so uh, you can either get for legacy or the normal NSUSB loader. So I will get the NS uh, normal NSUSB loader right here. Right. So once we have downloaded uh, both of the files, which is the our installer and the NSUSB loader, and also don't forget about the Java, uh, which is what I did show you guys earlier. So uh, if you didn't see that you cannot open the NSUSB loader uh, JR here and it didn't show you guys this uh, Java icon which is the executable jar file. So that means you guys didn't uh, install the Java JRE yet for your uh, for your PC. Uh, in case that if you didn't see this logo, uh, sorry, if in case that you guys didn't see this icon, you need to download. Uh, go back to the second links. You just need to find on description box and check for uh, Java downloads. So make sure you guys have downloaded the Java and installed it on your PC after you guys have downloaded it. Okay, so this is how it looks like, and this is for the our installer, uh, which is version 1.3.4. Now, what we need to do here, we need to connect our Switch micro SD card to our PC. So we need to shut down our Nintendo Switch. And we need to remove our micro SD card from our Nintendo Switch. And now we need to connect it uh, to our PC. So this may require the memory card adapter right here. 
Alright, once we have connect our switch SD card to our PC, as you guys can see, this is my SD card. Now what I'm gonna do is you need to open up the switch folder, and then for the our installer uh, .zip or .irm, you need to uh, extract it first, or you can just directly open it up and find our installer folders. Just go ahead and extract it inside your uh, switch SD card switch folder. So I already have it on my SD card here. Now I will replace it. And this is how it looks like after you have installed it on your uh, Nintendo Switch micro SD card. And you open up the switch folder, and then uh, that's the our slash installer. That means you have uh, installed the our installer homebrew for your Switch SD card. So now we need to uh, disconnect our SD card back from our PC, and then we need to connect it back to our Nintendo Switch. So right here what we need to do, we need to boot our switch into a custom firmware. So we'll use the uh, RCMG here to boot my switch into a custom firmware. Okay, so now I already have boot my switch into a custom firmware. Now what we need to do here, we need to uh, connect our switch into a Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I already have connected my switch to the Wi-Fi up there. And like I said, if you're afraid uh, and if you have a switch that's not yet been banned, I highly recommend you guys to use 90DNS or recording mode if you guys want to follow this uh, tutorial. Otherwise, it will be very risky if you do this on your switch that are not yet banned. So uh, I highly recommend you guys to use Econistor mode or the 90DNS. And I also will put a link in the description box for my other C channel for the 90 DNS or the Cognitum Mod tutorial. What we need to do here, we need to uh, go to the album to execute the homebrew menu. And once we have inside the homebrew menu, and uh, we need to launch the album installer. But before that, before I forgot, make sure you guys uh, boot your homebrew menu into a full speed mode, just like what I did show you guys on my previous video for the retro arch tutorial. Now to access the homebrew menu into a full speed mode, you guys need to hold out the uh, right trigger button right here. And then look up for any games that you guys have installed on your switch. So any title will work in fine as long as uh, the title can be launched. Now select uh, one of the title and then launch it while holding the right trigger button right here. So I'm still holding it until you see there's the homebrew menu popping up then you can release your right trigger button. Okay so now we may uh, launch our installer. So if you don't do that, uh, if you don't launch your homebrew menu into a full split mode then you will see there's a warning when you guys launch your installer. Uh, it will not working properly if you didn't uh, use the homebrew menu into a full split mode. Alright now here is the our installer. And you guys can see there's the install over LAN or internet. Right now, go ahead and select install over LAN or internet right here. Okay, so now it tell waiting for a connection. So your switch IP address is uh, at there, so I will blur it up so that you guys uh, will not know my IP address. All right, now go back to our PC, and on PC we need to launch uh, execute the NS USB loader 5.2. So like I said, make sure you have uh, Java installed on your uh, PC. Otherwise, you cannot double-click launch the NS USB loader. So there's also the command prompt that you can use to launch your uh, to launch the NS USB loader, which is when you see at the which is when you see right here. This is the command prompt you guys can use to launch the NS USB loader in case that if you cannot use it to double-click. Uh, to open the NS USB loader. Okay, so here is the uh, NS USB loader version 5.2. Now, what we need to do here, we need to select at the top panel here, which is the AWO. So make sure you have checked for the AWO and not for Godlift. And if it show you guys the USB here, you need to change it into NAT. Now, after you have changed from USB to NAT, it will show you uh, the NS IP. So this is where you need to pass your uh, IP address uh, from your Nintendo Switch and you need to type in onto the uh, NS USB loader NS IP here. So now I will go ahead and type in my IP address really uh, quick here. Alright, 
once you have typed in your IP address just go ahead and click to the select files down here all right now look up for your backup games so we'll use alba here since that uh, it was a small size of a games so it will be really quick if i do the alba here okay so once you guys have select your uh, backup games uh, either nsp xi or nsc is working uh, all of them is working with using this nsus builder and our installer here so once you have selected your backup games just go ahead and click to upload to ns and now it should sending the uh, backups to your nintendo switch and the windows security alert will pop up just go ahead and click to allow access okay so now let's head back to our switch and now select the uh, backups that we want to install on our switch so now we select uh, SD card and it tell me invalid NCI sign HD detect just go ahead and uh, hit yes I understand the risk and now we start to install the backups as you can see here so here is a problem which is uh, when you're trying to use this LAN or over internet here to transfer or install your backup games to your Nintendo Switch the things that I didn't like is because of the file transfer speed so it was really really slow when you guys use it uh, to install via this Wi-Fi so you can see this file is 385 megabyte and if you compare if you use a USB cable to transfer your backup games uh, to install it for using this our installer it will be really really fast if you use a USB file transfer rather than using the uh, Wi-Fi file transfer here but in case that you didn't bring your USB cable to any way you uh, travel or something you can use this method to install your backups uh, on for your switch so now I really have uh, installed the backups right here once it has finished just go ahead and hit the home screen and there you go you guys can see that I have successfully installed my backups by using a Wi-Fi mod so you guys can see there's no uh, USB that I've connected to my switch to transfer and install my backups um, to my Nintendo switch right here That's all for this video and if you guys have any further questions just go ahead and leave a comment down below So this video is requested so many times but I'm really really sorry I didn't have uh, time to do this video And also I have a uh, Odyssey channel if you guys interested to see I have a lot of tutorials video for switch on my Odyssey channel so uh thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you guys on the next one goodbye everyone see you guys soon